Hey, what's up guys? Zoo back here again on EQ Live, Empires of Cunark. Which, apparently, starts here in the Nexus, or at least that's one way to get there. Um, you hail this guy, uh, you get us this thing. So, very similar to... Lucklin. And then you need to stand on I think here. And we'll be ported up to or ported to this Cunark zone. In the back here, I got my P ninety nine chanter loaded up who I haven't played in quite some time, parked right outside of uh Mismore. Still at level thirty. Got a corpse over there. Got myself invisible. It's a pretty safe spot, but not 100%. So let's see. Can we get back to live? Okay, we're zoning into the first zone of Empires of Cunark. Now, I can't do a review of Empires of Cunark because I bought the damn thing and, uh,. I just, I never played it. Spent maybe an hour checking it out, but um, that's about it. So, there's not much I can tell you guys, but I wanted to put something out there, at least. Um, from what I understand, it's a good expansion. Better than the last few have been, from what I hear. But when I looked at it, it just kind of looked like, uh, I don't know, I guess more of the same, but that's okay, I guess. I mean, what could we be expecting at this point? I don't think they're going to be putting in like brand new features or anything at this point in the game. So I figured I would just show you around the zones. Right now we're in a zone called like... I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. So let's head over. I'm not sure what mobs in here. Oh, you see the Giants got new models, I think. This is kind of cool. There's like a city up here. I messed around in a bit. Uh, you know, you can get quests. It's big spires. Lore wise, I'm not really sure what is going on, but this it, it looks good. Yeah, so you got like a little town here, and I suppose for progression, you need to do the quests. <laughs> um. I killed a few mobs around here. Oh, look at that. The guards are fighting them just like uh, how they used to. Kind of a bum out that these guards are the, the same models from the from uh, Arx Mentis from... Is that dude's name Wonky? Worky. Uh, it's the same models from Arx Mentis from the Dark and Sea. So yeah, this zone is called Ice Anium. have no idea if I said that right. So I think there's about six new zones in this expansion. So let's see if we, we can run through them. I've been to almost all of them, but there there's one I've not been to yet. But I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there by other people. Yeah, I just, I honestly, I really haven't felt too much like playing live or uh, P99 lately. This is kind of cool. I did notice... All the zone connections are like tunnels. 
So here we go, entering the Scorched Woods. Now I'm not sure if it's supposed to be some alt, alt, alternate version of the Burned Woods. Who knows? Go back to P99, make sure I'm not dead. Invis is still up. Alright, so here we are in the Scorched Woods. Let's see what else. Alright, so we got Frontier Mountains to the east. And then we got Chardock to the north. So let's go to Frontier Mountains first since it's closer. Here's some Centaur types. Guess they don't see Invis. Or maybe not all of them. I haven't actually seen any of the gear from this expansion, so again, I can't tell you if it's good. So this is not really a review. It's kind of just like a run-through. What I can tell you is they added a ton of AAs, like 10,000 AAs. I shouldn't say added. That's not the right word. They increased AAs by about 10,000, so that should keep people busy for a while and some of them are super expensive like uh, I can't I, I feel like some of them are like a hundred to go up one point new stuff here glyphs new focus defiler synergy passive ability allows your impose for blood spell to trigger a blessing on your party which increases the critical damage multiplier for their damage over time direct damage spells wow as a necro that's probably the best one but all these are pretty good would definitely help dbs yeah but from the mobs i did kill it seemed like i was getting about one aa per kill So here we go through another cave to Frontier Mountains. Let's check on Zoo 99. Look at that. It's cool. I love Miss Moore. But really, I just I, I don't have time to go in there and get a group and stuff. So now let's enter Frontier Mountains. Well, here we are. Looks pretty much like what you would expect, I guess. Whoa, it's pretty high up. Let's see what the map says. Alright, so we got Draga. Let's up with this guy. Now that, in my opinion, is not the best looking mob I've ever seen. <laughs> He's like a pan... <laughs> Shit, did you guys hear that? He's like a panda with a little light on his hat. I mean, cute, yeah, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill those or not. Where are we going to go? Let's, let's go to Draga. But, yeah, so this looks a good bit different than Frontier Mountains. Oh, it's a big bear. Doesn't seem to see invis, so we're good there. A lot of good kite spots in these zones, it seems. I could hear that bear. There's someone probably boxing. 
Oh, the Sarnak group over here. More giants. So I'm not, not sure what it is. I just, I don't know. I, I mean, I bought it, so I really should play it and try it out a bit, but don't know. Just don't have the drive. You know that EQ burnout? Yeah. A friend of mine, uh, you may want to check his channel out on on YouTube here. Uh, his name's FC8 on YouTube, I believe. He also goes by FC7. Does a lot of EverQuest videos. Really good guy. Taught me a lot of stuff about being a Necro. And he's a guildie. But he did a really interesting video. I'll link it in the description. It's a three-part, and he rates... He rates every EverQuest expansion. Uh-oh. What, what the hell is going on over here? There's like some sort of war going on. That's kind of neat. Between druids and whatever. But anyway, so FC uh, did a little series, a three-part series, where he ranked every EverQuest expansion. And I thought, you know, that's a, that's a great idea. Maybe I should do that. But thinking about it, I can't. I, I I wouldn't be able to do it. I took, I think, a, you know, just off the top of my head, a, this doesn't look like the right way, does it? It's not. I took a seven-year break from EverQuest, probably starting around maybe the. Prophecy of Row expansion? No, probably even earlier than that. But I would come back. I took a number of breaks. Let's put it that way. So I'm, I, I, I missed a lot of expansions. I was never playing steady. I would take a year off. Um, ooh. Draga. That. Let's do it. So, I couldn't really do a video like that, but it is a great idea, and I'd love to see people's thoughts on that. And what they think, the, you know, I'm sure everybody's going to go with Cunark and Velius as the, you know, number one and two spots. But I'd be interested to hear if people liked other ones. Okay. I don't really want to die, so... He doesn't see me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Secret trap. Fucking hell. Look at this mess. I just got myself into. Alright, they don't see me. But I do remember when I came down here before there was a spider that I think roams around that did see me. So I think I'm going to take the wimp move and I am going to Levant. Back to the entrance. Okay. Let me, how are we doing on P99? Okay, looks all well there. And let's see where we are. Whoops. Okay, so that's Draga. So I think we've seen about half the expansion. A couple of zones were missing. 
But yeah, like I was saying, my EverQuest career has had long breaks in between, and I think the longest being a seven-year break where I did not play EverQuest live at all. Um, because during that time when, you know, it was one of my normal breaks that may last one or two years, but instead of going back to EQ Live, I went to, this was when P99 was out, so I did that instead. Let's get a look at this map. Gates of Korsha. I think when I was having a look my first time around here, that is the spot I didn't make it out alive of. So let's see if we can make it out alive now. I can't tell if these zones are revamps or or what or, or did they actually build them from scratch I don't know I can hear like bears growling I think or maybe it's those things they seem friendly enough Yeah, so there seems to be some druid versus goblin fight going on or something like that. I'm sorry guys, I know this isn't the most interesting video I've ever made or controversial. But I really can't say anything good or bad about this expansion. Because, like I said, I haven't done really anything in it. And I'm not sure if I will. I wanted to, I mean, I think I pre-ordered it. Because I really wanted to be like, okay, that, that's a good time to go back to EQ and start progressing through this new expansion. But when that time came around, I just had no desire to log in and I still don't really but I had uh, some free time today because I didn't realize that I had the goddamn day off of work <laughs> I woke up like any other day and you know I work remotely and uh, so I woke up as normal work day and I'm like why am I not getting any emails and where's everybody on chat and then I looked at the calendar the work calendar and saw that we had the day off today, you know, before the holiday. Okay. Hey, that guy's in my guild. I don't know him. Alright, so I guess this is where you get the quest before you go in this place. The Gates of Korsha. Let's go in. Yeah, like I said, everything is, uh, Well, that's kind of nice. An escape slave. Okay. Zoning in. My invis wore off. Hmm. Sit back down. I'm 66% into level 30 on, on my enchanter. Okay, now back to this. I think there's one more zone. Oh yeah, a la that laboratory. Uh, I've never made it into it. I tried to get into it. But, um, I died, actually. 
This is kind of an interesting zone. Don't know if there's any C and Viz mobs around here. There must be because I never made it to this last zone. So I'm gonna keep my. I think it might be these things. No. Nope. There's one. There's a C and Viz mob up ahead. Uh, this guy. So let's see if we can find a way around them. I hate I hate when you just hit an invisible zone wall like that. Alright, so that hunter mob right there, season biz. So maybe we go. Stay on the path. Um, okay, here's some snakes. Don't tell me the snakes see in this. They don't. I think that's another one of those see in this mobs. It is. And then... That is not... What the hell is that? Oh, that looks like a group up there. Whoa. Check that out. Is that how you zone in? Um What? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay. Oh, looks like it's that cave right there. All right. There we go. I just I just heard the achievement noise. So now I've visited every zone in the new expansion. But I did not show you guys every zone. So we're going to have to uh And let's take a quick look. kind of cool okay so dungeon uh oh how do we get out of here Looks big too. With two exits. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here and we'll Levant back to, I think, Scorched Woods and then, um, I think there's one more zone we need to hit.
and then we'll have seen all of Empire of Cunarch, which from what I understand is an improvement over the last bunch of BQ expansions. Not sure why, I'm basing that off one video I watched. <laughs> so, I don't know. All right, so we're going back to, do we want to go back to Frontier Mountains? Yeah. All right, let's check on Zoo 99. Someone just said train, but I'm still in Viz. Let's refresh in Viz while we're here. Okay, now we're back here in Frontier Mountains. We went to Draga, so it looks like we can Levant right over to Scorch Woods. And then, um, oh, we could check out uh, Chardock. That one's always a crowd favorite. I could see EverQuest expansions going in this kind of... Uh, in this kind of way, um, like the next one be some sort of Velius thing. You know, because I think they know people like the old content, so. Okay, so where are we? Okay, back to, am I going the right way? Yeah, so I think the new expansion would maybe be something about Velius. I would like to play some P99 soon, but just really haven't gotten around to it. Just watching some videos on it though, and it kind of got me excited to go back to that. Okay, um, uh, let's see. We're at Frontier Mountains. Sucker points. So what is everyone, if you made it this far in the video, I know this is a pretty boring one, but I don't know. Maybe I'll upload it, maybe I won't. It's just been a while since I've done a EverQuest type video, so I figured today was a good day since I had some time. But I would like to know anyone else's thoughts on this expansion. If you like it, if you don't like it, why? All right, Chardock, the last zone we're going to. I'm pretty sure my EQ Live uh, subs subscription runs out soon too, and I'm not planning on paying to play. I'm really EQ Live. If you don't, if you just want to screw around, you can go free to play, like do lower level content, that kind of thing. But um, if you want to do anything, like the holy. Fuck. What is that? That's a big worm. I got aggro. Alright. Let's see if we can root these things. Uh, I don't remember my hot buttons.
Let's dot them up a bit. I don't think these things summon. They are rootable. He is casting some sort of curse on me. Okay, let's just leave him there. <laughs> I cast Snare on him one more time. But that should be enough dots to kill him. And let's go see Chardock. I mean, I would expect there to be more undead. Whoa. He could see him viz too. Well, we always have feign death if we need it. Oh yeah, so I didn't even talk about it, but spells, I'm not sure uh, what the story with new spells is, how many there are, that kind of thing. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Huh, what do you think? I would imagine something to see in this, but to hell with it. Let's just run through. does seem like some great solo camps for Necros. And how we doing on P99? Doing okay, it looks like. Alright, here we are. Chardock. Maybe I, I'll try and kill one of these mobs. Not the skeleton. But this one right here. Let's see. Let's just try and uh, snare him and then root him. That didn't work. In case you were wondering.
had to feign death. Holy moly, these guys hit hard. What happened? He resisted uh, both. It's a cool looking shield. Okay. There is Chardock. So now we can uh, gate to wherever my gate goes. Don't re don't remember. I'm back on P99. Lost all my buffs, but what can you do? Oh, Jesus, why am I bound over here? Well, anyway, <laughs> that ends the video, guys. Um, sorry, I really didn't have much to say. It's not a review. Uh, it's just really showing the zones. And as far as I know about it, there's a lot more AAs, about 10,000. You know, um, I believe a couple brand new ones. There may be a couple brand new spells for each class, uh, I would assume, and then new gear. And I'm not sure how many new raids, but that is Empires of Cunark. So I am just going to camp out here in tranquility, and that's all I say. Hopefully I'll be back soon. Probably, if I am, it will be on P99 and not live. So once again, thank you. thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.